Hi, Contractor John here. And today we're going to be installing a shutoff valve on a copper pipe, a half inch copper pipe. This shutoff valve would be one that you would find underneath your kitchen sink or your vanity or the supply for your toilet. One thing I want to stress before we get started with the actual, actual installation today is that over tightening connections leads to leaks a lot of times. You get a, a connector get it good and snug, get it tight, don't over tighten it. Resist that urge to torque it down so it doesn't leak. If you don't have it tight enough and you get a little drip out of it, you can always snug it up after you get the water turned back on. But I've seen it happen so many times when you really tighten something up and then you turn it on and now you've spread the coupling or, or smashed that rubber bushing so much that it's just going to leak. If you get it in there together and it leaks, after you've got it good and snug and everything, then shut the water off, take it apart, put some pipe dope on the threads, wrap some Teflon tape on the threads or something, and then tighten it up again. But don't get crazy with tightening it because it, it just it leads to problems a lot of times. So let's get started with the installation of our valve. Now that the water is shut off, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut your copper pipe. You're going to use a copper tubing cutter to do that. Now there's still water pressure in this pipe, so you may have to cover it with a rag when we start to cut it. So you can set your cutter on your pipe, and again, screw it so the blade hits the pipe. Do not go super tight with it, and just rotate it around to around, give it a twist, and then cut. If you put too much pressure on that blade, you'll burr the outside of the pipe, and then when you go to slip your fitting on, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fit on. Put your pocket under here to catch any water that comes out of the pipe, and again twice around, and then give the cutter handle a little twist to set the blade in there a little bit farther. So it cuts that pipe, and here comes the water, and it's just going down to the bucket nice right now. Now depending how far this is from where your shutoff is, you may have a lot of water to drain down in here, so it may take a minute or two. You may want to put a rag over it. So that it doesn't splash all over the wall. Now that you've got the majority of the water out of the pipe, take some emery cloth, my suggestion, and just give the pipe a quick sand, a little bit of water, because it's not going to hurt anything right now. And that's just to make sure you've got a nice clean pipe to sit valve on to make sure you get a nice, a nice seal. The next step is going to be you're going to take your valve and you're going to install your valve on the pipe. This part, this is a 90 degree valve, meaning the copper pipe comes in and 90 degrees off that goes the line up to your faucet. So you're going to take this compression nut off and be careful there's a brass ring inside of here. We've got this brass ring first you want to slide your nut on your copper pipe and this is the part if you've got if you squeeze your cutter too tight you're going to create a burr on the outside of this pipe and then you won't be able to slip your bushing on and then that's all there is to it then slide your valve on this gets seated into there you don't have to pull it back the nut will bring it but I wanted to show you The bushing sits inside here, like that. Then the nut comes on, nut screws on, and it squeezes that bushing and creates a seal. Now, one thing I want to say: this is the time. There may be an instance. Most of the times, these are installed where this is straight up. There may be an instance where you might want to give it a twist and come off because you're going off to the side with it instead of bringing. If you're coming from far away with the valve. And coming into here this may be an advantage 
you don't want to tighten it straight and then go oh I should have tilted it and then loosen it back up you don't want to ever loosen it back up like that so so what you're going to do now is you're going to tighten it up a couple of crescent wrenches now you always want to back this up when I say back it up you want to hold the valve itself while you're tightening it up It doesn't take a whole lot to tighten this up. So squeeze that bushing in there. And like I said, you don't want to tighten it too much. Just get it snug and then stop. Like I said, you can always tighten up a little bit more if you need to. Some people will put Teflon tape on these threads. These valves are, are pretty good valves and I haven't find it necessary to do that with this particular brand of valves. Some of them are made a little more cheaply and uh, sometimes they do leak so you can wrap a wrap of Teflon tape on those threads before you put the nut on. One thing I wanted to talk about was your trim plate, your trim flange or your escutcheon plate. This would go on, in, in, in this instance here, we aren't using this because we don't have a finished wall, but in an in, in, environment that you'd have a finished wall you'd want to use this trim plate and how it works is your pipe comes out of the wall you cut your pipe and before you put the valve on you slide this plate over that pipe and now coming out of the wall if you've got an, a regular shaped hole or anything that the pipe is coming out of the wall this just kind of finishes it off and this plate presses up to the wall you put your valve on and now you've got a finished a look to it now that the valve is installed, you're going to want to connect your line to go from your valve to your faucet. Two different types of supply lines. One is typically the gray plastic or the shiny metal ones. You're going to do it the same way that you did the copper pipe going into the valve. Be careful, there's a bushing in here. You're going to take your supply line and you're going to slide your nut on that supply line just like I did here and then you're going to take your bushing your bushing here and you're going to supply that on the on the supply tube just like you did here on the copper and then you're going to screw insert it in here and screw it together on here just like we did here the other type is the flexible lines that have a a, a female end on the supply line and for that you're going to remove the nut the bushing and you're just going to discard that and you're going to screw that fitting right on your shutoff valve these are also called stops so you're going to screw it right onto your onto your stop and once you've got that go ahead and turn the water on if you have a leak just give it a little twist or whatever this right here make sure you don't over tighten these this is real easy to over tighten you don't want to do that so i'd rather see you have a tiny drip and then you tighten up once the water's on then you over tighten it have a lot of drip have a lot of leak and then you try to tighten it more it just gets worse if that happens you've messed it up start over again take it you're gonna to have to cut the supply line because once that bushing is crimped on that supply line you're not going to get it back off so you have to cut it and then you'll probably be too short so you have to get another supply line so that's how we install a shutoff valve on a copper water pipe. And that's all there is to it, installing a shutoff valve on a copper pipe. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel, Contractor John. If you have any comments or questions, visit my blog, ContractorJohn.com. Have a blessed day.